Peace would finally come to the world in 1945. World War II proved to be a major watershed in St. Petersburg's history. The servicemen who spent war years in Florida and the local boys who had also served came back to live permanently in peaceful St. Petersburg and to have their share of the Florida dream. St. Petersburg enjoyed a post-war residential building boom, bringing to the city one-story houses with air conditioning units and concrete block construction with terrazzo floors. The opening of Tyrone Gardens Shopping Center was a milestone in the city's history, with the larger Central Plaza in 1952 having a negative impact on downtown business in spite of the success of the new Maz Brothers department store and the ever popular Web City with its performing chickens. Congregation B'nai Israel's president, Benjamin Cornfield, looked towards expanding the synagogue programs and in 1947 personally met Rabbi Morris B. Chapman at the train and welcomed him to our ever-expanding congregation. By 1949, we affiliated with the United Synagogue of America, and USY was initiated. The cornerstone was laid for a new addition to the building, which was completed in 1950, and the building doubled in size. A social hall, classrooms, and library were part of this new expansion. Sarah Moss was an important addition to our teaching program. And under the direction of Rabbi Chapman, our Institute of Adult Studies program began. With the war's end, the atrocities of the Holocaust were brought to light. And the brave words of one child, Anne Frank, was one of the few lights of this tragedy. However, the entire post-war world was experiencing prosperity. But what lifted the Jewish community was when the United States recognized the new state of Israel. Have formally backed the creation of a Jewish state in Palestine. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the United States, girls were swooning over the voice, Frank Sinatra. And television with the show of shows, Dave Garraway and Milton Berle with his Texaco firemen kept many of us in our homes watching the small screen. Evening post about me. The Texaco company are very happy with me. You see, they want a very big publicity stunt on Milton Berle. Yes. They want to make the country Milton Berle content. But Broadway continued to give us live entertainment with Jewish composers Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein bringing us in 1943 the most influential musical of its generation, Oklahoma. <laughs> 